Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a flame game using Python without using any other external libraries called Pygame. Here I'm using the Tikinder library. Let me talk about the flame game. Flame game is a game named after the acronym Friends for F, Lovers for L, Affection for A, Marriage for M and Enemies for E. It is a popular game among young girls and boys at sleepovers, especially with pre-teens and teens who are beginning to explore the world of crushers. This game does not accurately predict whether or not an individual is right for you, but it can be fun to play this with your friends. Let me talk about the logic of the flame game and how it is played. First, write the name of your crush and yourself. Cross the common letters shared by both the names. Count the remaining letters, let call it as N. Write down the word flame and move through the letters until the count reaches the total number N. Whichever letter you get, we will provide the answer to your relationship. This is how the game is played. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. This is the Python code. First I have imported the Tikinda module and import everything. Then I defined a function clear all for clearing everything. And I set player1 field, player2 field, the status field and I defined everything with the player1 focus dot set. Then I defined the tell status which tells the player1 field and get the value from there, the player2 field. After that p1 dot replace the value which has been get and we list it as field1 with p1 and p2. Then I have the status field dot insert with the result of the flame as p1 comma p2. After that we will set the status dot field from the defined variable. Then we have defined a function called set flame and we have the position x and y. For i in x we have i in y. Then we have x dot remove and from the i variable. Then we have the count of the length. We count the length of x and length of y. We set the result equal to, we set the result from the array, from friends, love, affection, marriage, enemy and siblings. This is called the flame game variable. We have set it as friends, love, affection, marry, e for enemy and siblings. We set the result of the length as 1. We set, we take the value from 1. We split the index and we count the percentage of the length from the variable as a result of the flame game to tell the status of player 1 and 2. We set the right index and split the index plus 1 and we set the left index equal to left plus split the index and we have the result equal to right plus left. We set the variable from the array. We get an array. If that's not the condition, we have an else condition. We set the result equal to result equal to length of the result minus 1 and we return the result. After that we need to make a tickinder module. For that if name of the module equal to main, we create the GUI or graphical user interface from the tickinder module. After that we set root equal to tk for the tickinder module. Then we need to set the background color. For that we have set it as root.config background color equal to light pink. You can change it according to your preference. Then I have set the geometry of the box as 30, 350 into 125 length and breadth. Then I set the name of the Tikinda module as flame game. Then we need to set the label for player 1. Here I have set the label for player 1 with label 1. And we have the color black and light green. Then we need to set it as the player 2. For that I set it as black and light blue. Then we have the third variable or third label for relationship status. Then I set the relative positions of three variables, which is the label 1, label 2 and label 3. For that we have row 1, row 2 and row 3. Then we have the player field equal to entry of the root, entry of the root for player 2 and the status field equal to root player. 
Then I said the grid method is used for placing the widgets at the representative positions in the table like structures. We have a common row, column and iPads of 75. Then I create a submit button to be attached to the flame bar which has a text of flame and a background color of black with the command equal to tell status that would be the command status. After that I set a clear button to be attached to clear all the functions which has to be clear the button 1 and button 2 parameters with clear which set to be have a background color and set it as black and the command of that button would be clear all. After that at the last step I had set a grid method used for replacing the widget from the relative position front column and row then we start the GUI. This is the code for the main loop. Let's run the code in the python terminal. As you can see the tickinder box has been appeared. We have set the name 1, name 2 from the flame box. We have the relationship status. The relationship status is selected from the array which we have friends, love, affection, marriage and enemy from there. You can set the names from the name 1 and name 2 according to your preference, your choice. And we have the relationship, uh, relationship status after we hit the flame button under the relationship status box. If you need to clear both the names, you need to click the clear button to reset all the function. This is a simple game which you can make using Python without any other modules by only using Tikkunda modules and array type. We have the array which I have said like flame name, F for friends, love for L, A for affection, M for marriage and E for enemy and also S for siblings. From the array we are choosing a random name according to the name listed with the length module. This is how you can make your very own DIY flame game using Python. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.